Most importantly, I want to welcome the leaders and the soldiers of the Army's newest unit, the 3rd Multi-Domain Task Force. Today, we witnessed the activation and the unveiling of a set of colors of an organization that will be essential and integral to the Army and the Joint Force in the Indo-Pacific. While they may not have a distinguished and storied history yet, this unit is quite special and unique. This region of the world, the Indo-Pacific Theater, is the most important region for the future of the United States. It is where the geostrategic weight of the world rests for this century. Our MDTFs are essential to building joint readiness, strengthening interoperability with allies and partners, and denying adversaries key terrain. What is unique about the MDTF is how inherently joint it is. The MDTF serves a crucial role in the collection, processing, and dissemination of joint targeting data and is equipped with the tools to deliver the right effects at the right speed. The result is a formation that closes kills, kill webs faster and provides a robust array of options to the Joint Force Commander to counter adversaries in both competition and crisis while campaigning forward. Third MDTF's charge will not be to only replicate the successes of first MDTF, but to build upon it, grow our capability and its capacities, and to provide more options to the Joint Force and do it with speed and a sense of urgency. As special as these formations are, the Army just doesn't assign anyone to lead them. And the Army has chosen well in selecting Colonel Dave Zinn to command the 3rd MDTF. Ladies and gentlemen, standing here on this parade field on historic Palm Circle is a collection of talented soldiers that represent our newly formed team. MDTF soldiers have skills that span diverse functions. Intelligence, space, cyber, EW, fires, sustainment, and more, all working together to synchronize kinetic capabilities and non-kinetic capabilities to deliver long-range precision effects against our nation's adversaries. To the soldiers on the field, you look great. Thank you for your dedicated and continued service to our nation. I hope you agree there is no better place to serve than right here in Hawaii in U.S. Army Pacific. The third multi-domain task force is the signature formation in the ongoing transformation of the U.S. Army. Our activation in Hawaii reflects the Army's commitment to this theater as our nation's priority. We bring increased capacity and complementary capability to the joint force in the Pacific. Our formation will provide capability to synchronize long-range precision effects with long-range precision fires, providing increased freedom of action for the joint force. I am thankful to be part of this talented formation at its inception. I look forward to working together to build a proud, cohesive team that's highly trained, disciplined, fit, and prepared to conduct operations in the Pacific. As a newly activated unit, our list of tasks is long, and it is time for us to get to work. So let me finish by thanking you all for recognizing this special event. The third multi-domain task force looks forward to working with each one of you. One team, Army Strong. and lineage by carrying on the finest tradition of the United States Army. 
in accordance with Permanent Order 182-12, effective 23 September 2022, Headquarters 3rd Multi-Domain Task Force, U.S. Army Pacific, Fort Shafter, Hawaii, is hereby activated with the formal assignment of the authority and responsibility of their command. The Assumption of Command Ceremony is a simple traditional event that is rich with symbolism and heritage. The key to the Assumption of Command Ceremony is the passing of the unit colors. These colors represent not only the heritage and the history of the unit, the passing of the colors symbolizes the transfer of authority to the incoming commander. By authority of Army Regulation 600-20, paragraph 25, the undersigned assumed command of the 3rd Multi-Domain Task Force, effective 23 September 2022, signed David J. Zinn, Colonel, Armor, Commanding.